Hey y'all, welcome back to Katie on the flip side. I'm here with Cullen today. Hey, what's up? I'm Cullen. Nice to meet you. <laughs> we are about to do the assumptions thing that people have been doing. I don't even know if it's a challenge or a like, test. On, oh. on. on Instagram, I posted and asked it. <laughs> <laughs> you posted with an asterisk? <laughs> I posted and asked it. Okay. <laughs> On Instagram, I posted and asked for your assumptions of us, and you guys sent in some responses. So, we're going to respond to those right now. The first assumption comes from the Don't Tell Mom podcast. <laughs> oh, wow. Who made that assumption? Yeah. Um, if y'all don't follow the Don't Tell Mom podcast, that's Cullen and his sister Brittany's podcast, and somebody posted their bas his biceps are fake in the picture that I posted. They're not fake. They're real. That is a, that is hard a, as a rock. true oh, statement. Oh. That's a dumb assumption. Who would assume that they're fake? Anyways, the guys subscribe to their podcast. And oh, wow. Them. Thanks. So, you're Starting welcome. off the Big gate shout out. shout out. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, I had to throw out another funny one in the beginning. My friend Levita, had, her assumption was you never trip and fall because we have a joke because when I was walking out of work one day, <laughs> I was carrying all my papers and stuff and I tripped going up a hill and fell and my shoe flew off and my papers went everywhere and she still laughs about it and we still send each other falling gifts. So I basically always slip and fall. Yeah. So that assumption, Levada, is not true, and you know it. <laughs> <laughs> the next assumption is that you guys are loving the baby Sophia cuddles. Oh yes. Yes, totally. definitely. Loving the cuddles, the, yes. the baby cuddles. Yes, she gives Love us our baby face. Love the baby cuddles. Yes. Love the baby yes. face. I told Brittany the other day when she was there, I was like, we, I will babysit any time until she starts crawling. And then you're on your own. <laughs> no more after that. Until while she's still cuddled, that's fine. The next assumption is you don't like Cullen. Man, I do not like you. Why are we married? I love. I do. Me. I don't like you. I love you. Oh, thanks, babe. You're welcome. I love to you be too. honest, I don't always like you. <laughs> well, who does? No, I'm just kidding. I mean, who 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 likes everybody all the time? Right. Yeah, you don't like. Just like you were saying when our kids were fighting or you, the siblings were fighting, it's like you don't have to like each other, but you. You love, love each, each other, other all the time. And you still say goodnight to them right. at the end of the day. I tell my kids a lot of times too, I love you all the time no matter what, but I don't always like your behavior. Yes. I always like you, but I don't always like your behavior or your attitude you or right, whatever. Right, right, right. So that's true about you too. I do always like you. I just don't always like your... No, you love me. You just so. don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, maybe this one was a little harder than I thought it was going to be, but yes, I do. I like, I do like him. I do like him most of the time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Another one, there's several that are similar to this. You both seem very down to earth and that you love your family like crazy. That's so true. That's very true. Yeah. We, we are, are I mean, like, pretty literally. down to earth for real. What you like, see is what you get. We're very not like, we're, we're on earth. We're not up here. Yeah. In face. Yeah. The flat earth. We're, yeah. we're on the flat earth, mm -hmm. not on yeah. the round earth. <laughs> That just opened up a whole nother <laughs> can of worms. <laughs> oh, somebody is so jelly of your fish tank. That's not an assumption. That's just a. I know, they uh, said that's it. an issue you must have. What? I would. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would like Thank to say you. my assumption. Let's address this assumption. If I had to post an assumption, it would be that you love your fish tank more than me. No. <laughs> no, just my fish. I don't oh, love fish. my fish. Okay. I don't like my fish. I love my fish. Oh wait, now we're getting really <laughs> weird now. Don't even get me started on the coral now. Uh, that is I, I've gone. I've gone from the fish. The coral world is just. It's out there. It is I gorgeous. love it too. I love it. The world is a beautiful place. It is so beautiful. And you make it better. Oh, that was good. You're thanks. like the coral of my life. Oh, thanks. You're like the fish tank of my life. <laughs> You're like the George of my life. <laughs> George. If you don't know, one of her fish is named George. That was a very <laughs> weird cho choice of <laughs> Well, he's place. like the big goofy fish. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he's just like swimming around. I'm just kidding. That's I'm like the laddie dotty. Mm -hmm. You like some potty. <laughs> <laughs> Another assumption, you guys tried to have a baby after Brooks but couldn't. That's not true. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. We I mean, have not tried to have practiced. any other babies. Yeah. Yeah. But we didn't practice like, <laughs> like we were trying. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, we didn't. No, we have no. not even attempted that, and we have done our darndest to prevent it. Yeah. Here's one. You guys like liver and onions. Um, negative for me on both. I actually do like sautéed onions. I love onions. I don't like livers. Cranberry does. Cranberry has like the best chicken liver recipe out there, so she says. But you I never always, tried I it. always give it to the dogs or doused <laughs> it in ketchup. <laughs> I was just like drop it on the, whoa, whoa, come here, Pepper. That was their dog's name. Mm, this is a good one. Katie is too good for Cullen. <laughs> 
sometimes. I love calling shenanigans for the record. I wouldn't say too good for. I would say like too annoyed by. Yeah. It's just... grown on me. Some. Yeah. Yeah. I would Actually, say it's grown on you. I would say it's kind of the opposite. Like it's like when you first meet somebody and you're that's like what you love about somebody is that they're crazy and they're funny and then you like life gets serious and you have some kids and you're like shut <laughs> the f up and we can take care of the kids then yes i don't think like too good it's just more responsible more um uh, what's the word uh, a little more of a rule follower and just real reel me in a little bit a little more not um, too good it may come word. across as being too good by like the you know from the outside looking in but it's just like you're more aware not too good though. you're more yeah. centered and i'm just like what happens, if I tilt what, I, what happens if I touch the fire? Will it burn me? I don't know. And you're like, yes, it'll burn you. Stop. <laughs> so, yeah. I would say that's true. <laughs> yeah. That's a good assumption. Yeah. But I still love you. Yeah. And it still makes me awesome. Thanks. Yeah. My name's George. <laughs> hey, George. Oh, this is a good one right here. You haven't kept up the KonMari method like you hoped. That's actually kind of true. Mm -hmm. um, and it hurts so it bad. It does hurt so bad. So here's what happened. I was in the middle of going through and doing the whole Kanmari process. And then if you have no clue what's happened in our life and our marriage, the whole addiction stuff came out. Colin like has been changing his life. I've been changing my life right after that. Gaines got the flu. I got the flu. I got a staph infection in my face. We went to Disney World. Now we're at the beach. And basically it's a bunch of excuses, I know, but like the whole process that I had like in my head of like, okay, now this is gonna go next. It just hasn't like continued. And I am such a rule follower that I'm like, I can't do anything else until I do Brooks's clothes. Yeah, yeah. How many times have we said, every time we like look at the garage, we're like, like God, I can't wait to get back on Comrie. When we came back God, from our cruise, I was like, I just wanna throw it all out. Yeah, no, even last night watching, we, we turned on Netflix and we did all of a sudden it. there was Con Marie in the list and we're like, oh, we gotta watch one. And then it was just like, oh my gosh, I'm like ready to get back at it again. Mm -hmm. And I think it's hard to keep it up when you when haven't you fully it. gone through yeah, it. Yeah. So it's like the, everything doesn't have a place and everything doesn't spark joy. So stuff keeps creeping back out and making messes. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. And it's driving me a little bit crazy. Yes. There are random things that I'll just be like, okay, I'm getting a box and I'm going to put all these sippy cups in the uh -huh. box like just the other uh -huh. day. I will say but though, the I'm things ready. that I did do, I have kept up. Like my closet and uh -huh. my clothes and all that, I still have kept them up yeah. and I've kept games up. Now they'll be like a week where laundry will pile up. Right. But once I put it back together, it's still put in Conmari style. I haven't kept up. We're talking a lot about this one, but I haven't kept up with it, but getting it back in order is so much easier. Yeah. Because it's already been yes, Conmari. Like true. I'm just like and I think that's another mental thing is I'm like, oh I know I know it won't take me that long and so I just kinda let it pile up. Pile up. But when I do do it, then it's just like, and it's done. It's done. So yeah. And it feels good. Recommended. Highly. <laughs> Finishing it soon. Stay tuned. Don't, don't, don't give up on me. Okay. The next one, your marriage hasn't been easy, but with hard work, you guys have made it through. I think that's a good assumption. Yeah, it's pretty good. Actually. I would actually say up until a cup of two or three years ago, I wouldn't go with like, your marriage hasn't been easy. I remember in the beginning of our marriage, people being like, this is hard. Like marriage is hard. It's work. And we were like, what? Like we just are doing our thing, right? I mean, wouldn't well, you say? I would until like <clears throat> recent events. And then it's like, it, it probably was hard, but I was just masking it or not masking it necessarily, but finding other ways to make it look easier. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah. in retrospect, looking back on it now, I would say, yeah, freaking marriage is hard. Yeah. You gotta work on it. Like it is from the beginning, but I can, I can say too, I mean, I don't know, maybe we have different perspectives on it, but I can say that there, I just remember, I guess before we had kids and so there wasn't any like major stuff in our marriage other than just us living our life. And I remember people being like, God, my husband just drives me crazy. Yeah, Sometimes I wish he'd true. just like leave for like a week and then come back because I just need a break. And I was like, I just never feel that way. Well, and I like, think I going, in, going into it, we had the five year plan to where we were going to like have fun for five years and then have start having kids and that turned into seven years so i would say yes it was fun yeah the first leading five up, years yeah, the we first, were... i mean we were just like this is our plan and i think that's another thing is you have to go into it with a not necessarily a plan because plans are made to be changed obviously <laughs> but some type of goal or outlook to uh where you want to be and who you want to become with your spouse it was just it was an adjustment to figure out how to like live yeah. life as a totally different 
in a totally different situation where he has this whole other kid or two to care for. Right. So, yeah. And then all the hormonal changes these women go through. Good oh, lord. Oh, lord. I'm dude. just kidding. Seriously, that's no joke. But all yes. The fish tank stuff. <laughs> and all the things that fish bring into your life. But I would say, no, it hasn't been easy the past few years, but we have worked hard on it. Right. We've tried, yeah. and it has taken work. So, right. if you're in a marriage and things are hard, a lot of times I get asked, like, what's your piece of advice? What can you tell me? My husband's struggling, I'm struggling. I would say work on yourself and you probably need help more than you think you do. Yes. Yourself. Yes. And I mean, coming Which from both so of us. so weird because like, you want to help your partner or your spouse or whatever the case may be, like as much as possible. But at the end of the day, when you like finally just stopped being the nag or the gnat or whatever, like flying around my head and I'm just like, God, <laughs> get away from me. Like, I'm just, why are you always telling me what to do? Da, 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 da. That's when I realized, dang, because you were working on yourself mm -hmm. and you were learning about more about yourself, not only about yourself, but about how to deal with me, even mm -hmm. though you weren't saying anything. But mm -hmm. then I was just like, where is that gnat? Where's the floss water? <laughs> I don't know what to do now. And then I'm like, I'm messed up. Like, you know, it's just like one of those, it's weird. Yeah, work on yourself. Like, Cause you were more worried about me needing to get myself Yeah, I'm like trying to and, dodge yeah. the gnat instead of just like, I'm messed up. <laughs> yeah, and, and as like myself, I had to deal with like, look, should he never decide to change? I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with myself. Like, if I can't change him, I gotta figure myself out. And it never hurts to go to therapy by yourself, work on some yes. books by yourself, whatever you need to do. See all of That's her previous videos advice. for all this. Yeah, I, I got a little bit revelation. of revelation. <laughs> yeah. I got a little bit of a uh, playlist there for you. Okay, there were a couple of them about Katie misses her old job. Another one that said, you really still work as a child psychologist while Cullen edits or works. So if you don't know, um, I was working as a child psychologist before Gaines was born and I did go back to work for what, three months or a month, maybe two months, something like that after she was born and just couldn't do it. It just didn't feel right. I was like, I wanna be home with my baby. That's what I wanna do. And um, do I miss my old job? There are pieces of it that I do miss. And obviously I went to school for a long time. I have my PhD, like I did all this stuff and I really enjoyed my job. But right now at this stage in my life, this is my job. This is what I'm doing um, as a mom, as a social media creator, um, as a wife. Mm -hmm. as whatever since the time that we got married i knew that there was going to be a portion of my life where i wanted to be able to be at home with my kids when they were babies before they went to like kindergarten or whatever i knew there was a period of time i wanted to do that and how amazing and cool and awesome it's been to be able to do that because i didn't know if i was going to get to mm -hmm. i mean i wanted to but i didn't know if that was going to be an option and to be able to do that and have this as a job and be able to have like the connection with other people and to be able to like, I do use my degree. I like talk about things that are relevant to my degree. I use my degree every day on my children and my husband <laughs> who's also part of my child psychology <laughs> learning. Um, but seriously, I'm very thankful for my degree and for everything, but I feel like I'm able to impact more people's lives at this point by doing what I'm doing right now than sitting in an office and seeing two or three kids a week. Because what I was doing before is doing assessments for ADHD and autism and learning disabilities and that kind of thing, which is an intensive process. So you only see a couple kids a mm -hmm. week, two, three, four kids a week. So anyways, where I am right now, I'm very happy with if I decide I want to go back to work or if I wanted to right now, I would. I think it's safe to say that every body has some part of their past experiences in the the work life that they miss too so i mean i could see how that would be an easy assumption you know i miss you know just the social interactions going to an office going to an office the smell of the coffee brewing <laughs> in the water cooler talk yeah <laughs> you know all that kind of stuff and then just the professionalism that you feel when you're at a job sometimes versus hearing the kids screaming in the next room and wondering if daddy's got them taken care of and all that kind of stuff for mommy but um yeah so there's aspects of jobs and past experiences that i'm sure people would miss if you do something 
Other different, than, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's definitely days when but, I'm like, God, this would be so much easier if I just dropped them off and to went to. to an office yeah, for yeah. eight hours a day. And then I wouldn't have to hear them fighting and blah, blah, blah. But <laughs> right. it wouldn't. I mean, there's, you can turn it the other way. And I, yeah. I know for like working moms, it's hard in their aspects. For stay at home moms, it's hard in their aspects. For work at home moms, there's, you know. Yeah, the advantages versus the disadvantage, or the positive versus the negatives mm -hmm. right now outweigh each other right as far as totally as and i do keep up my license and like do my continuing education stuff and all that and when i do the continuing education classes i'm always like oh god this is so amazing i'm learning so much <laughs> new stuff so i don't doubt that there will be a time that i will want to like at least part-time do some other psychology stuff again there you go. I get that question a lot, so thanks for the assumption. That you never swear. That's true of me, mostly. What the hell? <laughs> okay, the next one is that you're a normal family and have everyday problems just like us. Um, yeah, absolutely. I on the coach yesterday. The cat, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, speaking of that, the next one, you low-key <laughs> like Cullen being inappropriate. Not really. It's yes. Kind of annoying yes, you do. Sometimes not really. No. She's low key more inappropriate than me with the camera That's off. That's true. Yeah. That's true. That's very true. <laughs> That's why I wore this shirt tonight. You should have seen her before we started recording. She was like doing all this stuff. I was like, you're going to get this demonetized. Yep. Hmm. It's a family channel. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is you may have gotten divorced because of addiction if you didn't have kids. I will say that's actually not true. I'd say it's the opposite. I would say that the only reason I would have considered that is because we do have kids. Like I can take a bunch of crap as my own self, but when you see something start to affect your kids is when I was like, no, you know? Mm -hmm. So like the assumption was that Wait, you yeah, was may have right. gotten divorced because of addiction if you didn't have oh, kids. Because of so like kids, basically saying that we only right. stayed together because yeah. of the kids. Yeah, no, 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 I get what you're saying, no. And so I would yeah, kind I of agree, say it's I opposite. I would, I would say that that did make it harder to just be like, screw it, I'm leaving mm -hmm. because of the kids. And so you don't want to just like tear each other apart because of that. Mm -hmm. But I would say, I don't think we would have even gotten to the point of like, screw it, I'm mm -hmm. leaving, if it weren't for being upset that something might be hurting the kids. Right, right. Not like physically hurting the kids, but like the situation, not yeah. be healthy for the kids yeah. or whatever. Well, and on the flip side, I think, <laughs> Katie on the flip yeah. side. Yeah. <laughs> I think, um, not that I don't love you any less, but if it weren't for the kids, then I wouldn't have had my heart as deep into you know what i mean it wouldn't have had as much of an yeah. impact mm -hmm. on the outlook perspective future you know right a, as far as everything goes and realizing like you need to wake up you i know, never like one of the, you know <laughs> no, like, no like yeah. to myself like yeah. dang you got kids like mm -hmm. come on now get your sh together it definitely is a bigger <sighs> motivation to change things in your life break the cycle change the right. tree all that stuff yeah so like, yeah crazy i don't want to i don't want to yeah continue the family tree like right. i don't right. want to be another branch on the, yeah it would it would have <clears> been <throat> easier to just separate if there weren't kids right would have probably, yeah. i would have probably it's just been that. like screw it i'm not sticking around for this right yeah 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 Okay. Next is you both like to keep a daily routine for your family. That's interesting because we've actually been really bad about routines and we recently, since everything has gotten more stable in our household, kept up routines better to the praise Jesus of my heart because <laughs> I would, I love to have a routine. I realize how important they are, but when there's unpredictability and addiction and all that stuff, it's incredibly hard. And so I've just kind of given up. But I also think it comes with what we do too, is like, you know, the whole like, going back to the previous question about having the things you miss about your workspace or whatever, going to, that was routine and da da da, yeah. when you get to the space that we're in, it's like, well, what are we going to do today? Wake up and play with slime or wake up and play with Orbeez? I don't know. Yeah, you know, where do we have like, to be? We don't have to be uh, anywhere to start time. Uh, yeah, yeah that's true. you still have to make it <clears throat> a routine and until like we've got our cells back in check or myself back in check or whatever the case was, you're always about routine. I just, what I'm just yeah. like, kids can go jump on the trampoline or they can jump on the bed. I don't care. And that was a very frustrating part of yeah. our lives yeah, because yeah. I was like, okay, it's like <clears throat> this 
it's, you know, it's seven o'clock. They need to be going up to bed. Well, they're still fine. They're having fun. I'm like, I don't care. I want it to be a routine. I want yeah. it to be like, I like predictability. So I wanted mm. to know, like, they're going to be in bed by this time so that I can like get on with my night, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And, yeah. and it's made everything a lot better. We're liking it a lot more yeah, now. A lot. For what Cullen lacks in focus and drive, he makes up for in passion. I don't know. You, you have great focus and drive when you're passionate about something, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so like, I don't, that's, yeah, that's true. I don't know. It's an interesting, it's, it's interesting. hard to get me focused. Like I, I've never had good focus on stuff. Like, unless it's something you're really interested unless in. Unless I'm really interested or passionate in it. And about. like when you daily vlog for however many years, that's obviously a passion, which creates focus and drive. Well, and just like with the addiction stuff, like once yeah. you got focused and like driven to like change it yeah. and passionate, it was not hard to get you to focus. I mean, yeah. To get yourself to focus. Right, right. Yeah. 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 I would say that's good assumption then. <laughs> and just learning new things too, like when I, like the podcast stuff. And so when you're passionate about it, you're I'm very passionate about it. Out. I'm like, mm -hmm. we're, gonna, we're gonna figure this out because mm -hmm. I want to know. There more you about go. It. I love it. Okay. And the final big question. This assumption is the most true one of all of the assumptions in the entire list. <laughs> you're tired of people asking if you're going to have more kids. Huh? Yes. Wait, what? Ding, ding. You're tired of people asking if you're going to have more kids. Y'all, like probably 70 to 80% of the assumptions were that you want to have more kids or you don't want to have more kids. Or you're not sure if you're going to have another kid or you have not 100% decided. I assume you want a lot of kids. You want one more kid. You want a baby, another baby now that Sophia is born. How many questions Katie, on your Katie, you want a lot of kids while Cullen Sunday doesn't. You, get about that. you want a baby, but you're not sure if you're How ready yet. How many times have you answered that question? Like literally your favorite cheese is chatter. Yes, that's actually true. <laughs> okay, I'm just trying to find My you assumption want is another that y'all don't have ears to listen to some you of want a third baby but you have a rough year and the timing isn't quite she's right mentioned it about you have baby fever now with your new niece so i don't know why you're falling more in love every day oh yeah that's true <laughs> <laughs> i mean literally it is like oh that you procrastinate until the last minute to get things done that might be the most actually appropriate no robin true. just go listen to that yes. book the yes. way to change your life okay or something taking control of your life <laughs> but we were like we've been for a long time like 99 percent sure that we don't want to have more kids but since y'all keep asking <clears throat> and you keep wanting us to have more kids we are now a hundred percent sure that we don't want to have any more kids <laughs> it's like it's like brooks and Gaines. if i have to say it one more time the answer is no, no. <laughs> i think there was a lot with um you know just the postpartum stuff that you went through mm -hmm. with brooks that was real traumatic that we didn't really even know was happening i mean i think you talked about it a little bit but like just yeah. the whole like mental stuff and physical and emotional like all the stuff that was going on that we were just like you were going through and, and kind of got me into the deep depression and, and addiction stuff too that happened is just got a bad taste in our mouths as, as far as all that goes so, so it's just taking us a long time to kind of like we're still recovering from, from that. that so yeah well and then it's also there are seriously times lately though when i've been like maybe we'd be able to handle it better because we know maybe. a lot more we think about things different but then i'm just like it's no like i'm happy with our kids that we have i don't at all look at babies now and go oh i want to have another one i like i look at them and i go oh are so cute like <laughs> look at that little baby that mom is gonna have a rough night you know? <laughs> I, mean, I mean not really and not, it's not that bad no, no. but it's seriously just like i'm happy with where we are i feel like we just are good How and i think that's the fine this week we've said have we gotten to the point <gasps> Have we gotten? Have we gotten to the point? We where graduated. We, just, have we graduated to the point where our kids were just like playing by themselves. Yeah. For at least five minutes without yeah. needing a boob or something. <laughs> like you know, like it's just to, yeah. There's just that you know you get over to that that step. So it's like, oh, I couldn't imagine going back right now. Right. Especially with how we are, or where we are in our relationship right now. Like, yeah. That would just. Yeah. It's taken me a long time to like get myself back, and the thought of kind of like giving myself up. I don't know, maybe it's a selfish thing, but I'm like- You were literally- using, Like my body being somebody else's home. Self was <laughs> for three years straight, like four. four. really? I mean, yeah. considering- Well, and the miscarriages before right, took so, a toll. Like, like, that's just yeah. crazy. January 2013 through like January of 2016. 
17 is that no 18 so that's five years basically that I was either trying to have a baby pregnant or breastfeeding for yeah. five years yeah and so in the first two no. two and a half three years of the I was playing I got a I was playing PlayStation so I got a PlayStation I'm gonna put up on eBay if anybody wants to buy it because I haven't touched it since we've had Brooks Thank you, children. Thank you, children, for that. <laughs> but anyways, um, I truly and honestly think we're okay and happy with where we are right now. And I think that's okay. And I don't feel like we should have to explain why or feel bad about that. Some people want one kid. Some people want ten. And I think it's fine if we want to. We wanted four before all this. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching our assumptions video here live from the beach house. If you can't tell, it's a little bit of a different background. We're having a great week. Go check out the vlogs on our family channel, vlog channel. I think one of the last videos you did was the speech jammer channel, uh, channel speech jammer video. That oh, was hilarious. That was fun. That we was did here that at one the beach here. house. I yeah. think we were about this this tan. Yeah, probably a little bit more summer than <laughs> we are now. That was a fun video. <laughs> a little bit more summer. So go check that one out. <laughs> but go check out the beach vlogs to see what we've been up to this week. And I will see you guys uh, hopefully Sunday night for a live stream because I will hopefully be back home. I don't know. We may stay here for the rest of the summer. Let's I don't know. Stay. We'll see. Let's do it. I got fish tanks to look after though. Shoot. Dang, come. Those dang George. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.